You eat this. I cook for you to eat. I don't want to eat. You should eat anyway. Otherwise, you will go hungry. I can't eat noodles anymore. Eating too much noodles makes me get pimples all over my face. I'm sorry. I will go buy medicine for you to apply. My birthday is coming up. What will you buy for me? How would you like to receive a gift? I want to buy brand new goods such as bags, jewelry, shoes and clothes. Will you buy them for me? Can I buy you a birthday cake? Why don't you have money to buy things for me? You just got your salary. I'm sorry. I have to send money to my parents. My dad is sick and he can't go to work, so it's very difficult. Hum. Is that your reason? I'm really disappointed in you. My friends, when their birthday comes, their boyfriend will let them go shopping and celebrate their birthday at a fancy restaurant. How about you? What have you done for me? I'm so bad for you that I can't let my friends see you. They always ask me about my boyfriend, but I always have to find a way to lie about you. Because I don't want them to look down on me. Why do you make me suffer like this? You know, I'm so obsessed with poverty. I'm sorry, booby. I can do it all for you. What can you do for me? I can't celebrate my birthday with my friends. Can you celebrate my birthday? I will try to earn money to celebrate your birthday. Really? Can I rent a restaurant? Of course. I'll make money so you can celebrate your birthday. Thank you, little cock. I will call to invite my friends. Okay. I will try to make money for you. Little cock goes looking for a job. How are you, little cock? You look so tired. Because I only slept two hours yesterday, so now I'm a bit tired. What do you do without going to sleep? I went to work part-time at a convenience store. Then I worked as a molder for construction material at the construction site. Are you a superhero? Why are you able to do so many things? The work is in the office is also a lot and hiring already. I need to make money. Are your parents sick and need money? Not so. I need money to celebrate my girlfriend's birthday. Hum, what did you say? You have to work so hard while she just hanging out at home. Then ask you for money to go shopping with her friend. You mustn't talk about her like that. She is very poor. She was abandoned by her parents because of poverty since she was a child. So her personality and manner don't match. But she is a good person. Are you defending her? She only knows how to ask for your money all day. Asking you to buy everything without knowing how hard you worked to, to earn that money. Not so. You are misunderstanding her. I don't know what to tell you anymore. You are already mesmerized by her. It's because you don't understand her. She has no bad intentions. Hum, I lost. I won't interfere in your business anymore. Are you angry? I just don't want you to misunderstand her. And I don't want her to take advantage of you. You did everything to fulfill her request. I just don't want her to suffer. Hum, we shouldn't talk about this anymore. Okay. The next day. Are you awake? Yes. I cooked breakfast for you. You should eat them while they are hot. I know. I'll go to work now. Wait, little cock. I have something to say. What do you want to say? Actually, my friend asked me to go shopping today. I also need to buy some clothes to wear for my birthday. So can you give me money? I'm saving up to celebrate your birthday. I know, but I have to go shopping today. I can't break my promise to my friend. They denigrated me for having no money. I understand, but I don't have much money now. That all. I will hate them insulting and disrespecting me for not having money to go shopping. Do not say that. I only have this money, wealth to pay for rent. No problem. You give me that money to go shopping first. And then you will earn money to pay for the accommodations later. The landlord loves you very much, so she will give us a late payment for the room. That is enough. You take it away. Thank you, little talk.
Movie goes shopping with Titty. How long have you been here, my friend? I just arrived too. I had to take a taxi to get there. Why did you call me out to the mall today? I heard a new clothing collection has arrived. So I wanted to come check it out. Did you get his money? Right. He seems to really like me. Whatever I ask, he will give me. He has been tricked by you. Ha <laughs> ha. He's a bit silly but very honest. Are you going to live with him forever? No, I never intended that. It's only now that he treats me so well and provides me with money that I approach him. You are so sinister. He's very obedient and easy to command. That's why I took advantage of him. Your birthday is coming soon. How are you going to organize it? Ah, he promised to give me money to celebrate my birthday party with my friends. Hmm, he is so naive. Why let you cheating like that? I told you, he was so pure and righteous. He does whatever I want. Sound great. But if he's rich, even better. Right. We should find a rich husband so we can go shopping. Do you know this truth now? We have to find rich people to approach. Haha, ha, you have the same idea as me. Of course, Bobby. Meanwhile. Time to go eat. I don't want to eat. You want to save money, right? Actually, I can't hide anything from you. You have to do a lot of work. If you don't eat, you won't have energy to do it. Let's go eat. I will pay for you. Really? Of course. I should do the same for you. Thank you, tiny cock. Little cock, you have no fleets. Really? You should block with cotton. I know you will be like this. How can you stay up all night and doing so many things? You will lose strength before you have to celebrate for her birthday. While you working hard like this, what is she doing? She spent money all day. I'm okay. Just running a little bit. Nose bleeds. It doesn't affect me at all. Hum, you are so stubborn. Are you sure she is honest with you? Or she just taking advantage of you? Was she ever interested in you? Come on, let's go eat. I'm very hungry. Titty and Booby at the club. Hi. Can I sit with you guys? Of course. You are so beautiful. Really? What is your name? I'm Booby, and this is my friend. Her name is Titty. Your name sounds great. Nice to meet you. I'm Mike Smallcock. Nice to meet you too. Do you often come here? I usually come here three times a week, but I never met you and her. Ah. Uh. We come to this place on weekend. Really? To celebrate today we meet and I'm giving you a bottle of wine. Thank you, but we are ready to go. Unfortunately. Then I'll go get the car and drive you home. We don't need. We can take a taxi. Goodbye. Okay, goodbye. Titty and Booby leave. Why are you acting cold toward him? He seems to really like you. I did it on purpose. We should not be too easy on him. It will create a feeling of not wanting to conquer. We need luxury. Hmm. You are a true master. So what if we don't see him? Didn't you tell him that we will be here again this weekend? If he interested, we will see each other again. Wow. You are so smart. Booby goes home. Why are you at home this hour? Don't you work part time? Are you going to drink again? Right. I went club with Titty. I'll make orange juice for you. You should take a shower. But why are you at home? Aren't you going to make money? I'm not feeling well, so I want to take a day off. You know I invited my friend already. You have to earn enough money to give it to me. I don't want to break my promise to my friend. You don't care about me, right? You don't ask me why I am unwell. You just want to take money from me. Have you ever thought for me? Are you mad at me? Am I not your girlfriend? We breaking up. 
What do you say? I said we should break up. I feel like I shouldn't live here anymore. I can't continue living in poverty, living with someone who can't fulfill my interest. You don't say anymore. Let's wake up tomorrow and talk. No, I don't want to suffer anymore. You are not my choice. So let's break up. I will find a rich person who can take care of me. Okay, let's breaking up. Good luck. Bye, gold digger.